Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Backbone JS tutorial from scratch and this is totally for beginners. This is our part 14th of this video session series where we are going to discuss about model change events in Backbone JS. In our last video session, we have discussed about the model validation events. So guys, if you are a beginner from this video session, then I strongly recommend you to go to YouTube, type online web tutor and search the playlist of Backbone JS, which we have made from starting. So in this video session, we will mainly focus on model change events. So let's discuss first what is model change events. Basically guys model change events are those events which actually fires when the model values changes means if you are JavaScript lover then you have heard about the word render means when the function or when any value changes of a model then we want to render our views to get the latest or updated values of a model. So to detect the model values to de detect the model changes values we need the change events in backbone chase so let's see some of the events of model changing events these are the events which basically fires this dot point here is the change attribute you need to pass and here is the callback function when we are study on backbone views then on passing the model to our views so in views when we detect that when the model is on change then we need to fire a backbone callback function so these are the basic guys functions that we are going to see in this video session that whenever when any of the attribute of model changes we detect the changes of the model by our events so let's get started about on change events of model in backbone chase this is our code coding background where we are going to code upper code so this is the model that we have made so far here are the three attributes that we have set like name, team and the age and this is the very basic views that we have made so far which basically contains the my model which uh, model object that we have made and this is the object of views that we have created so far. So let's detect our change of the model as we can see there are three values so just save this file go to browser and refresh this page. Once you refresh your page, just type my model. We can see that our three values which we have passed to our file is here like name, age and the team. So if we want to change value like set, we want the name should be something like this name is something like online web tutor. Okay just save and enter as we can see we have successfully changed the values of a name but the method does not trigger any event which tells us that the model values is actually changed from name Sanjay Kumar to name online web tutor so we need to make a event in backbone which basically tells that your attributes has changed in the model so let's make an event which detects our model changes so under the initialize method which basically acts as a constructor for a backbone model in the initialize method just bind an event for that this dot bind here you need to detect the change of a model just type change function which basically takes the model Here is the method event that we have binded with the constructor which tells us that when the model change then by getting the change attributes this function will triggered. As it triggers when the model changes it triggers and tells us that model has changed. Let's save this file go to browser and refresh this page. Once you refresh type my model as you can see we have set three values for now. Now we are going to set some values like my model dot name. In the previous existing values, the name is Sanjay Kumar. We want to change it something like online web tutor. 
so that's it we have done just press enter you can see that model changed a event has actually triggered when the model changes this is the message that we have written inside the slice method and this is the event which actually we have binded with so this event triggered when the model changes as you can see just type like also my model like something we want set each equal to 50 just type enter as you can see when we set the age equal to 50 also the model changed event triggered it tells that the model has changed obviously we have changed the age section from the previous value is 10 to 50 so that's why it triggered and tells us that the value is changed so now we want that this method actually triggered when the name changes it is not triggered when we change about the age and the other name section like team means when we change the name attribute then the method is only triggered in case of age and team it does not so to restrict the condition we need to pass something like name when the model changes when the model change and the name when name changes when the name changes model then this method will be triggered and console this message just save this file go to browser and refresh your page type my model as you can see these are the default values that we have passed let's change my model dot set each equal to something like 25 my model does not trigger any event which tells that the age has actually changed or my model changed let's type my model dot set something like name equal to something dummy value we have binded the trigger event with the name section when the model changes with the name attribute then this event will be fired just type enter as you can see model changed this is because we have restricted our binded event of model with name only so this is the way guys that you can detect your change event in case of model so just leave it from here and now we are going to apply this change model into our view means when the model changes we want that the backbone views detect the change of this model object to detect the model change events in views we need to write this dot model dot on here is something like change and here is the callback function So basically this dot model refers to the current instance of model which contains my model object where we have set three different attributes so when the model change when the model change then this method will be triggered in case of view so just save this file go to browser and refresh your page once you refresh type my model here are the three attributes let's change value something like my model dot set team equal to suppose something like India just press enter as you can see detected by view because this method has actually triggered that we haven't passed any parameters to detect the change so it triggers whenever we want to change like name team age there is no restriction condition in this view but the model is actually triggered when we change the name section so let's change the name also my model dot set name equal to Suresh Raina. Just type enter. As you can see, model changed because we have triggered the model event when we want to change actually the name. So successfully, the model change event also fired, and also the view section has fired so these are the events guys that we need to keep in your mind before using 
the change event in case of model. Let's try another method to detect the change in model in case of view. Let's type the alternative way this dot model dot bind here change when we change the team then this callback function should be fired just save this file go to browser and refresh this page when we change the team value my model dot set when we change when we change the team value then the view will detect our change and this method will be triggered just press enter as you can see team has changed because this method is fired only when the team actually changes its value so these are the guys events that you have to remember while using any model change events in your view or in backbone.js application let's separate the callback function into different file like this dot model change event this is the another method that we need to separate just copy of that here i'm going to write model change events Now what we did so far, we have binded our model when the team changes, okay? And this is the callback function which actually fires when the name of the team changes. So just save this file, go to browser and refresh this page. Once you type my model, then you can see all the previous value under the attribute section. So let's change my model dot set something like name. As you can see model changed because we have detected in the model section by taking name into consideration. Let's change the team value. Team has changed. Also successfully we have triggered the view event. View event by getting the team change it fired this events and here is the event that we have defined so these are the very basic introduction about the model changing events in backbone.js application so you need to keep and things keep in your mind while using any model change events in your application so these are the things guys that we have seen this dot point this method will triggered in model application as you can see we have triggered this event under the slice method this dot model on change and the callback function this property also we have seen under the view section as you can see and the last and the final that we have seen by the help of bind event we have triggered our callback function when the team has actually changed as you can see and we have used the bind event with that specific condition so these are the things guys that we have seen that how can we detect our model change and we have reflected the output to our browser so according to these conditions guys you if you want to use it in your application so by the help of model changing events you can reflect to this your in your code and do whatever you want so guys if you have any query about the model changing events about this video session then please drop your comment in comment box i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys, thank you for watching, have a great day.